Notice what he says here. Now, how great is that power, that mighty power? Well, it's the power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. That's how much power that is towards you. You got that? And set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Now, notice where that is. Because remember, everything I'm talking about here is talking about Jesus, but it's talking about you. Why? Because you're in him and everything he has, you have. So now he is seated far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Well, guess what? That's Jesus, but that's you. You are seated far above all principality and power and might. Isn't that right? Right now, that's where you are. You are seated there and you have ability to use that name that is above every other name, right? Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Do you realize that you... By using that name, you have access or the ability to alter things or to control things in both heaven and hell. Do you get that? You say, well, how is that? Well, because he said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. You're controlling things in heaven. Do you get that? He said, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So you are actually controlling those things in heaven. heaven now, heaven agrees with you because it gave you permission to do it. But you're, he's waiting on you to bind or loose before he can actually have those things changed. But that also means in hell. Why? Because hell takes directions from heaven. When heaven says something, hell obeys. Is that right? You understand that? You tell a demon to leave. Now, demons aren't seated in heavenly places. They are from the pit. That's where they're going. That's where they belong. Is that right? Yes. So that's hell. Right? Not just the place, but the entire concept of hell. Demons are under that. And so if you have the ability to bind or loose in heaven, then that means that that effect will take place on beings in hell. Does that make sense? It does in me. I'm just not sure if I'm getting it out right. But anyway, okay. Notice, he says in verse 22, And hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, to the church, gave him to be the head to the church, which is his body. Now, where's his feet? On his body. Isn't that right? So he put all things under his feet and then gave him to be the head of the body. So we are the body that has the feet that all things are put under. Do you get that? Yeah. We are the body that has the feet that all things have been put under because we're in agreement with him, in alignment. Do you understand? which is the fullness of him. His body is the fullness of him. His body on earth today makes Jesus what he is today. Think about that. His body, see the world can't see Jesus. All, all the world can do is see the body of Christ. So we make him here. Now we know what he is, but we make him now what he is to the world because if we don't go lay hands, they ain't gonna get healed. Why? Because we're the body that makes him the fullness of all he is. 